Hi, good evening. I'm Clifton Park Town Supervisor Phil Barrett, and we're here tonight to talk about the abandonment of Crescent Way sewer system to the town of Clifton Park. So you'll be hearing a little bit from me tonight. I'm going to hand it over to our engineering firm, who is going to go through the map plan and report that they completed on the system. And you'll also hear from the head of our sewer department, Mike O'Brien. But just to give you a little bit of background on where we are in this process, we were notified that Crescent Way Sewer Services, which has been a private business operating a sewer system uh, for decades. And that it was not uncommon uh, back in the day when the town first started to develop. Uh, we have accepted the abandonment of other sewer systems uh, it, mainly in the early 2000s, uh, Dutch Meadows, Woodland Hills, uh, the former CK Sanitary. These were all systems of varying sizes that we assumed ownership of when the owner came to the town and said they no longer want to run the, the sewer service and they're ready to abandon the sewer system to the town. Now, if you're not familiar with that system, uh, it's under the Transportation Corporation Law of New York State. If a private operator of a sewer service uh, operates the system for five years, any time after that point, they, they are allowed to abandon the system to the nearest municipality. So we have accepted other sewer systems uh, over the last 20 years. Crescent Waste Sewer uh, it's in the southern part of the town. It's a, roughly 2,000 customers. And so it's a, it's, it's a fairly large system. Uh, but we have experience uh, in this uh, type of endeavor, and we are ready and willing to, uh, to uh, accept ownership and do the job. Uh, now, there's no money exchanging hands. Uh, we are not purchasing the system. Uh, the, the owner of Crescent Way Services is abandoning the system to the town of Clifton Park. So there are no uh, monies exchanging hands. Uh, and uh, likewise, uh, the owners of the system, they are not obligated to uh, forward or transfer uh, any equipment or funding of any type. It's strictly just the system itself. Normally, at this point in time of the process of assuming ownership of a private sewer system, we would have a public informational meeting. Uh, obviously, with the restrictions that we're working under due to the COVID pandemic, uh, we're unable to have large gatherings, which is why we thought uh, it would be best to have this video, which is streamed live which will also be captured and posted on our town website where you can view at your leisure and our website is www.cliftonpark.org uh, so tonight's uh, presentation uh, will serve as what would have been a public informational meeting uh, where we would have invited all of the the people within the system you should have all received a letter notifying you of this uh, impending abandonment of the system. Uh, recently, there has also been news accounts uh, of this uh, happening, as we have discussed it at town board meetings as well. So our team has been working as quickly as possible to gather information from the owner of the system and to take that information and begin to put it in one central place so we can start to prepare for the abandonment. Uh, also, part of the process is a public hearing, and that public hearing will occur. We have two public hearings on Monday night, June 15th, uh, at the Clifton Park Senior Community Center. And one of the public hearings will be on creating a special district to assume, the, to assume ownership of Crescent Way Sewer. Now, the, the public hearing and the special district are a very important part of the process, because at that point, we're drawing a boundary around the properties and the customers within the system. And we're saying that this is a, a district that is, uh, in this case, because uh, a sewer system, we also have special districts that uh, provide water service. 
In this case, it's a sewer service and the people within this district uh, will continue to receive sewer service. It's only, the only change is, is that it's under town ownership as opposed to private ownership. So this is the same process that we have followed for every other abandonment of a private sewer company that we've uh, assumed in the past. Um, so the, the, other, the other thing that the special district allows us to do is collect fees. Now you're, you will see a reduction uh, in your fee, slight reduction, uh, after the town assumes ownership. And we're gonna talk a little bit about that uh, in the future as well. There's one thing to keep in mind, however, as we go forward. Uh, when these systems are abandoned to the town of Clifton Park, uh, they've been operated for decades uh, by, the, by the owner. Typically what we have found is uh, with these systems that there is a fair amount of work that needs to be undertaken. So our team using their knowledge, expertise and equipment they will prioritize capital improvements as well as maintenance items that need to be done both now in the immediate future and in the next five to 10 years. We were always as proactive as possible to make sure that if there is an issue, we move forward and take care of it. Yes, you can put band-aids on things. And unfortunately, sometimes with these systems, that, that's what has occurred. So as we find those situations where there could be an issue uh, posed to the uh, sewer system, uh, we will be aggressive in, in fixing the issue and taking care of it. Because as we all know, uh, putting Band-Aids on infrastructure only creates more expense and more work. We try to avoid that to the greatest extent possible. Go in, fix it right the first time. And, uh, and make sure that we're protecting the integrity of the system because we understand with all of these infrastructure systems, water, sewer, and otherwise, that it's very important to property values and to the viability of our neighborhoods. So we will prioritize maintenance and capital improvements as necessary. We will continue uh, as we assume ownership, uh, we will continue to uh, uh, pass information along to everybody within the, Crescent, the former Crescent Waste Sewer Services. Now, the question always comes up, well, uh, does the, is the town forced to accept ownership of these private systems? Uh, yes, basically, uh, as I said before, under the Transportation Corporation laws of New York State, uh, the owner can abandon these systems and the town is obliged to accept ownership because we are the nearest municipality. We have found in the past, as these situations have arisen, that the people within the systems were, were actually pleased with the uh, prospect that the town would assume, assume ownership. And we're gonna talk a little bit later about uh, our team and the, the information we have available and the responsiveness. Uh, we haven't had a sewer department for a long time. Uh, it was basically in, in the early 2000s, we created a sewer department because we were taking the assuming ownership of these sewer systems, Dutch Meadows, Woodland Hills, uh, CK Sanitary and others. Uh, and it was and it necessitated that the town uh, develop a sewer system and a sewer department to make sure that we have the right, uh, the right equipment, expertise, manpower, and ability to serve all of the customers of Clifton Park. So at this point, I'm gonna hand it over to our engineer. He's gonna take you through the map plan and report. Now, it, there's not a lot to this process. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You know, you've got sewer services now, you're gonna have sewer services the day the town accepts ownership of the system. However, it is our goal that you will realize improved customer service and a system that is operating more effectively and efficiently over time because we understand that we need to learn a tremendous amount about this system ourselves. We've basically had no involvement in operating this, this uh, system 
So we will be learning as we go. And we'll also pass that information along to you as it becomes available. So at this point, I'm gonna hand it over to uh, Walt Lippman. He's from MJ Engineering and uh, he will go over the map planning report and information. Well, thank you, Supervisor. So as Supervisor said, um, and he did an excellent job on covering a part of this, a bit of this material, I'm just going to go through a couple uh, bullet points here uh, to kind of walk you through the process. And, and the big question is of uh, costs. Uh, go through introduction, background. Uh, we'll show you the benefited prop properties. I have a list of the streets that are currently within uh, the Crescent Waste District, um, and also a, a boundary to go with those properties. Uh, the overall wastewater collection system, uh, as in what's there today, um, and what is there today will also be there the day after the town takes it over. Uh, the different user cost components. Um, I'll be going through uh, those two. Uh, current and proposed costs um, of the district, the next steps, and then contact information uh, from myself and the town. So I'm, as Supervisor said, I'm Walt Lippman uh, from MJ Engineering. Uh, we're here, just there's a letter there I have posted. Uh, that's the letter that Crescent Waste sent to the town back in April, uh, advising the town that they would be abandoning their system um, at the end of June. Uh, Crescent Waste uh, has been around since, I believe, 1969. Uh, with that title, they a different title prior to that. Um, they currently operate and maintain the collection system within the district. As I mentioned in April 2020, they notified the town and under the transportation law, it goes to the local governing body, which is the town of Clifton Park. So as part of that process, the town needs to formally establish a sewer district to encompass these current properties within Crescent Waste. So here I have a couple maps and in the center are the benefited streets. Um, I know the map is probably difficult to see, but I'll, I'll kind of walk through it right now. Um, so Crescent, Way, uh, Crescent Road basically cuts right through the center of the current district. Um, you have Huntwood Drive, which is the Northern limit, uh, South Berry in the Southeast corner uh, on the west end is the Fox Run Apartments in Grissom Drive. Um, on the west end is Judas Drive. Uh, if you notice those two areas on the map to the right that are in yellow, those are customers that are currently just Saratoga County Sewer District. Uh, the ones in blue are the ones that are currently in the uh, Crescent Waste District. So if you see your street name in the center, um, keep in mind, um, we'll have a full SBL property list in the map plan report, because uh, not every single property on these streets are in the district. There are, and I'll get into this a little bit later, there are current properties that are still on septic. They'll be part of the system, uh, but are are currently not connected to it. And there's also some properties that are outside the town uh, within this district. So the collection system. On the left-hand side is the current status of what it is today. It's privately owned and operated by the Crescent Waste Treatment Corporation. There's about 67,000 linear feet of eight inch gravity sewer. 12 inch linear feet of various size force mains, um, which are from five pump stations and over 350 manholes. Uh, currently for treatment, everything gets sent to the Saratoga County Sewer District number one. Um, and the rules and regs are Crescent Waste Treatment Corp. The right hand part of the slide, you know, and I made it the changes in red so basically, once the town formally forms the district of Town of Clifton Park Sewer District Number Two, 
it'll be owned and operated by the town. And that's the top part there in red. So instead of privately owned by Crescent Waste, it will now be owned and maintained by the town of Clifton Park. Same exact collection system will remain in place. The treatment will be no change. That will continue to be provided by the Saratoga County Sewer District. And the rules and regs will become the Town of Clifton Park Sewer Use Law, which is in section 169 of the town code. User cost components. There are two components uh, to the total cost uh, per unit. Um, it is debt service and operation maintenance, um, also O&M that you'll see here. So debt service, at this time, the town will be taking over the district as is. and will not be completing any capital upgrades. Uh, but as the supervisor said in the future, as the town gets more and more familiar with the system, there may be some future capital improvements that may be required. Second component, the operation and maintenance costs. The users are responsible for the operation uh, and maintenance of the collection system, the pump stations, and the treatment. So there's two parts to the O&M. One is the town of Clifton Park. So they'll be taking over the collection system portion of Crescent Waste and Saratoga County Sewer District for the treatment, which you are currently billed through the county for that treatment charge. The final is a separate is a connection fees. Current customers within the Crescent Waste Sewer District that are connected to the system already, there is no connection fee required. This connection fee is for those existing properties that are currently on septic systems um, that are not connected into the system. If, if sometime in the future, those properties wanna connect in, they would go through the connection and permit process with the town. That also goes with any new development that happens within those boundaries will also be responsible for the town's connection fee and permit fee but not for customers that are currently connected to the system as of today. Just gonna walk through the current and proposed costs. Uh, on the top of, this, of the slide is the current Crescent Waste cost that you currently see. Um, the collection system, and I have a copy of an invoice on the right-hand side. You're currently billed quarterly by Crescent Waste uh, at $44.46 per unit. And for the treatment, I have another copy of the invoice highlighted in yellow. You'll see that on your town and county tax bill uh, that the 2020 rate is $255.50. Uh, so that was already paid by the users on their January bill. With the proposed town of Clifton Park car costs for the collection system, the bills will continue being billed quarterly for the remainder of this year, 2020, uh, at a rate of $41.55 per unit. So a slight reduction from what you're used to seeing from quarter one and quarter two of this year. Um, once the, when During this process, like Supervisor said, we have to do a map plan report. Uh, that cost is usually born solely on the customers of that particular district. It's not the whole town, it's just that district. And that cost has been built in to the 41.55. Next, starting in 2021, the bill will become annually on your town and county tax bill instead of quarterly. Um, right now at, uh, at $170 per unit, that's a projected 2020 charge based on uh, similar charges for the existing Town of Clifton Park Sewer District Number 1. And the treatment will continue to be billed annually on the Town County Tax Bill at $255.50. That is the current 2020 rate, uh, which is based on a yearly rate by the county. Each year they reassessed that. Uh, so if we look at the little uh, spreadsheet in the lower right-hand corner, uh, so quarter three and quarter four, once again, will be 41.55. The county 
treatment fee of two fifty five fifty has already been paid by the users on their January bill. So the two remaining bills you'll see will be forty one fifty five each. Next year, twenty twenty one, it will now be annually. Uh, so on your your tax bill, you'll see one seventy five, or that's the projected charge. Uh, is listed as a town sewer charge. And then you'll also see the county treatment fee of two fifty five fifty. So you'll see two items on your next January tax bill. So the next steps, we're here tonight to, to do the public informational meeting just to get the information um, out to all the, the users. Um, there is a map plan report that will be prepared and we'll have all the boundaries and all the parcels uh, involved with uh, Crescent Waste. Um, like the supervisor said, we, there's a town public hearing um, in the senior center, I believe it was mentioned. Um, and that's Monday, June 15th. At that meeting, um, the town could ad adopt a resolution for the creation of the sewer district sub subject to permissive referendum. And there's a 30, 30 day waiting period. Um, even if there isn't any comments or anything anticipated by law, you still have to wait your 30 days. And at the end of the 30 days on or after July 15th, the town can uh, adopt the final resolution for the formation of sewer district number two. So here's some contact information. Uh, I've got Michael Bryan, who's the collection system manager. Uh, he'll be speaking to you in a few minutes um, with his phone number and email address. Uh, if anyone has any questions uh, regarding the, uh, the process or costs or anything like that, uh, feel free to, to email Mike. Um, I also have my information on here as well and the supervisor's phone number. Uh, so feel free to uh, email me or call me as well uh, with any uh, concerns or questions. Um, at this point, I'll turn it back over to the supervisor. Good. Thank you all. Let's flip that off, man. Very good. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Um, uh, I made a couple of notes while I was listening. If I could just put you on the spot a little bit. Uh, now, there's uh, th there are a few, I think 50, 50 to 55 uh, properties that are in the town of Half Moon, correct? But they're going to be part of the overall system? Yes, currently there's yeah, 50 or 60 parcels within the town. Um, there could be two ways the town could look into doing that. They could either set up an outside user agreement for those, right. or in talking with the town of Half Moon, if the town of Half Moon wanted to create a separate district for them in their town. I would think the easiest would be an outside user for the town. But yes, there are mostly on Algonquin mm. in Williams Way, which is just south of that, are where... So Algonquin and Williams Way are basically where the, the Half Moon Correct. properties are located. And what, we, what we've done in the past with CK Sanitary, there were quite a few properties within the town of Malta. Uh, but instead of <laughs> separating the district as we created the special district at that time, uh, we just had a... a intermunicipal cooperation agreement with the town of Malta and our folks have continued to uh, maintain the system for the customers in Malta as we do for the town of Clifton Park. We'll do the same thing here. Uh, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense to carve out maybe 50 properties and put them in a separate district and uh, why not keep everybody together? Economies of scale are very important when it, when, it, when it comes to districts like this or any infrastructure system at all. Uh, having more people paying in, more, uh, more properties paying in to the, uh, to the overall cost of the system uh, is incredibly important. So using those economies of scale to, to benefit everybody, whether they live in Clifton Park or Half Moon, uh, makes the most sense and that's what we plan to do. Uh, one other thing, uh, oh, I wanted to make the point as again, as I was listening to, to Walt to make sure that you saw the connection fee. Uh, 
And just to emphasize again, uh, if you are connected to the system and you're part of Crescent Waste and you've been getting your service from Crescent Waste, there is no connection fee. That would only be for new users that might hook into the system. And that does occur. Uh, we just uh, approved a uh, four, four new uh, properties that could hook into the Dutch Meadow system, for instance, just a couple of months ago. So that can happen over time. And again, that is a positive for the system because then there's more people paying into the cost of the system. Uh, now, an important point to, to uh, remember is you've been paying this fee to Crescent Way Sewer on a quarterly basis for a number of years. Now it'll be on your county tax bill. So that can affect your escrow. So it gives you one less bill four times a year to, to need to pay because it'll be on your county tax bill. So it'll be taken care of in one shot. But if you have a mortgage, that could affect your escrow because now you're going to have uh, about $170 a year that instead of paying that quarterly to Crescent Waste, it'll be a one-time charge on your county tax bill. Why do we do that? Well, it saves an incredible amount of money in administrative costs for everybody in the district. We're not mailing out bills on a regular basis. We don't need uh, uh, people that are administrating uh, the, the, uh, the bills going out and coming in. Uh, it's just much easier for everybody and certainly less expensive and streamlined to uh, get that charge on your county tax bill. Uh, also, just another point about the public hearing, uh, as Walt was speaking, it reminded me, the reason we're having it at the Clifton Park Senior Community Center on the Common is there's a little more room for distancing. Now we're gonna have two uh, public hearings that night. The first one will be about the Boston Lake Sewer Project. That is a project with the town of Boston and we've been working on that with the town of Boston for uh, a number of years. The other public hearing will be on establishing the special district for Crescent Waste. So we do ask if you do attend the, the public hearing, you're, you'll see the same presentation you just saw uh, and you will have an opportunity to, to speak uh, on the matter as well. We just ask that you wear a mask, please distance. And the Clifton Park Senior Community Center offers us a little more opportunity for people to distance. Uh, and also there's more shelter if, if people uh, are outside waiting to come in uh, as the hearing is taking place. So it just makes things a little easier for, for people that aren't aware of where the Clifton Park Senior Community Center is. It's on the Clifton Common. So if you come into the main entrance on the Common off Fisher Ferry Road, take your first right and follow that down and you'll see the, uh, the building on the left hand side. So those are just a few notes uh, and things I wanted to emphasize uh, as Walt was speaking. Now I'm going to ask uh, Mike O'Brien to... Uh, to come forward and, and say a few words. Mike has been the head of the sewer department since day one. He was a, an employee with the town at that point. He was promoted to this new initiative as we created the sewer department. So Mike O'Brien, come on up. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Mike O'Brien. Uh, I've been running the sewer system as a supervisor indicated since 2004, 2005. Um, since then, we've picked up several employees. Uh, we have a combined 33 years of experience now running sewer systems throughout the town. Uh, we operate systems uh, with a total of uh, 19 pump stations, um, well into the near 10,000 customers and uh, numerous miles of pipe, well over 10 to 15 miles of pipe. Um, Crescent waste is something that's been out there for a long time. Uh, we've you know, kind of always had our eyes on it. Uh, we know the people that run it. Um, and we didn't know when the day was going to come until we found out this year. And uh, my department has already started uh, groundwork with the, the field representatives uh, from Crescent Waste to learn about your pump stations. There's five order equipment that we can upgrade those, those pump stations. Um, 
uh, for, for our monitoring standards, which uh, the town standards are, are, are pretty high because we like to see performance and see how these machines are working and see what we can do to make them better. Uh, we're evaluating emergency hardness. All of the pump stations that we have taken over are triple ready. Um, that way we can weather most storms uh, without even blinking. And if something serious happens, we have a backup on top of that. Um, uh, additionally, uh, we have equipment that we have acquired over the years, um, a, a sewer camera, a sewer jetter. Uh, we will uh, roll that out into Crescent Waste immediately. Uh, working with the field representatives, we already know areas that are of concern. Um, there aren't as many as we expected. I'm sure we'll learn about more, but what we do know about, uh, we are gonna deploy those resources right away and, uh, and begin a plan to effectively uh, you know, take your money and reinvest it in the system. Uh, we've had a very successful run uh, under supervisor's leadership uh, of taking um, uh, a big system, taking the money and turning it back into infrastructure projects with little to no debt, no bonded debt so far, uh, which, has been, uh, which has been pretty good for the town, for the CK customers and for other sewer districts in the town. Um, as we get closer to the 30th, my department will have a 24 hour number I think we'll roll it out long before the 30th so everybody knows it, remember it, and use it. We're available 24 hours a day. My office is available. Uh, my cell phone is not private. You can call it if you need to. All those numbers will be posted. Um, we have a good track record. Customer service, as the town supervisor indicated, is a priority for us. And uh, we do everything we can to help our customers out the best we can. There are some things we can't do. But for the most part, uh, we're pretty good at, at, at working with customers and trying to, trying to keep customer service at the top. So hopefully it's my intention that this will be seamless. And if it's not, for some reason or another, we'll address it right away and, and, and get it on track. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to working for you and uh, hopefully demonstrating uh, if, you know, improved performance and, uh, and um, seamless operations. That's what I have. Very good. Thank you, Mike. And uh, since hope is not a strategy, what Mike meant to say is that it will absolutely be seamless. And, uh, and you will see a, uh, an increase in customer service and efficiency. But like Mike said, uh, he's being as proactive as he can. We, we just found out about this abandonment uh, uh, just uh, not, not long ago. And so we've been scrambling to get the information together. We think we have a, a very good customer list now uh, as we continue to break things down and get as much information from the, what, who will be the former owner of the system very soon. But uh, Mike and his team have a lot of experience. When we first were accepting ownership of these sewer systems in the early 2000s, at that point when we just then started a sewer department, uh, we didn't have equipment. We didn't, we didn't uh, know what we know today. So we are very well prepared at this point with uh, a great deal of experience, expertise, and, uh, and, and equipment. Back then, we relied almost completely uh, in those initial days, right, Mike, uh, on, uh, on contractors. And that has changed as time has gone on uh, over the last... Uh, 17 years or so, uh, it's, we, we've just gradually and frugally uh, accumulated more equipment, more training, uh, and a couple more uh, folks working in the department so that we've been able to bring a lot of that work in-house, which again has saved a great deal of money for our customers over the years. So at this point, uh, we've thrown a lot of information at you tonight, and I really appreciate folks that are watching. Uh, this uh, video will be uh, on our cliftonpark.org website under the sewer department tab. So uh, if you go to the departments tab down to, uh, to sewer, uh, you'll be able to find this video. Uh, please, uh, for people that are within the district and maybe don't know that we're doing this tonight, Please pass it along to, uh, to people that you know, your neighbors, that there is a video with some information. Now, Monday's meeting, as all our town board meetings are, they're streamed and they are also chronicled on our town website. So 
if you if you can't attend Monday or you don't feel comfortable attending, we understand. That's why we're getting this information out tonight, and then we'll have the presentation again Monday. Uh, but there, please use that contact information that uh, was the last slide in the presentation to contact us with any questions or information that you'd like to pass along or, uh, or information that you need as, as we move forward. So uh, thank you, everybody. We appreciate uh, your, your partnership as we work to take over what is uh, a fairly large district and picking up 2,000 new customers under the town sewer department. I wanna thank Walt, Mike and his team and everybody in the town board as we move forward with this process. It's been smooth so far and we're gonna keep it going that way. Thank you very much and uh, please let us know uh, the questions that you have within the next couple of weeks. Thank <laughs> you.